Hi, I'm Pato, and I was tagged by Rebecca to do the judging books by their covers tag. So here are some of my favorite book covers according to a bunch of different categories, starting with best color combinations. First up for me is A Personal Matter by Kenzaburo Oe. It has great colors and also great placement along the spine and bleeding over the back. I just think it does really well to balance the sort of strong black and white thresholded image with muted pastels. It's really satisfying to look at. Then NYRBs, just as a catch-all, all have really great color coordination in terms of just solid color for the back and the spine, and then double accents for the text, and then the end pages. Then the cover, like the painting or the picture, will usually have the same sorts of accents. Here's another one of like black, pink, and red. Looks super cool. Like not too much to elaborate on, they're just really pretty. Another book I think that has great color <laughs> contrasting is Red Colored Elegy by Seichi Hayashi. It just looks really satisfying together, and the book itself is also super cool. It's like a 70s pop art French influenced manga. I won't get into it, but it it's really cool. <laughs> The next category is going to be typography, and for that I thought of The Woman in the Dunes by Kobo Abe. Just really love the font on this one along the side too. Well, my copy's a little beat up, but something about it, I don't know how to put it into words, but I just really like the way it looks. Another book I thought of instantly was Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. Something about the font on this one too, I think I'm just attracted to stuff that looks older or like aged and decrepit. I mean, that's just like undeniably satisfying to look at. One last example is Heaven's Door by Keiichi Koike. Love a lot of things about this, but the title especially, how it sort of like wraps around the arch, the gradient on it, the warping inside, just really cool, adds a lot. And I'll definitely use this for an example in another category later on. Okay, now we are on to simple covers. So obviously I have to reference Outline by Rachel Cusk. I don't own the pretty versions, sorry. Confessions of a Mask by Yukio Mishima is one of the simplest and coolest covers that I own. It speaks for itself, really, as most of these do, so I'll just show them off really quickly. The Hole by Hiroko Oyamada. I bought this for the cover alone. The book wasn't that great, but I still think that this looks so satisfying. Next is Wool Gathering by Patti Smith. Again, so soft, so sweet, just a really lovely little book. Then Whale by Chian Myung Kwan. Another really simple cover. I love how this one looks. Something about it is just drawing me in. Then I chose the Complete Stories by Kafka. The Shokin editions have very minimal covers and then the pages are like all uneven and printed sort of off. Uh, it just has like a charm to it and again really simple, not doing too much, but I think they're cool. And lastly is The Setting Sun by Osamu Dazai. I have mixed feelings on the New Directions versions of these, but this one's my favorite. I like the shade of blue, very simple iconography, it's grown on me. The next category is Best End Pages, and I'm gonna double dip because some of the books I've already shown have pretty cool end pages, so aside from NYRBs which have like matching color coordination, I also found The Employees by Olga Raven has matching end pages which are like this bright highlighter orange that matches the cover, pretty cool. And then Heaven's Door also has this really intense sort of opening fold-out that you can open up. It's different on both sides. I don't know if I can show that, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to skip the next category, which is Best Map, because none of the books I own have maps in them. I don't really read fantasy, and even in this book with a map in the title, didn't find anything, aside from Joseph's son misspelling his name in Katakana, which was off-putting enough to make me stop looking. So next category is Best Naked Hardcover. First up is Sunny Volume 1 by Tayu Matsumoto. It's printed directly onto like the fabric or like the canvas itself. It feels good, looks good. I'll try and show off some of the texture, but really, really nice quality. And then The Night is Short Walk-On Girl is a hardcover that's bright red and then has like this nice embossed sort of reflective font. I like the decal of her face of the apple. I just think it looks cute overall. And then lastly is Snow Country by Yasunari Kawabata. 
This one is so like in your face, but I really like how it looks. I think that the texture is cool and it just feels really old uh, in a good way. Next is best back covers. And there are actually a lot more than I expected. So here's a couple. Heaven's Door makes its third appearance. I think I just really wanted to show off this book apparently, but yeah, looks cool. Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto has a great cover as well, where she's on the front and then she's on the back with some flowers behind her back. So cute. A Horse at Night on Writing by Amina Kane has this sort of extended front and back cover, which I really like. So yeah, just kind of finishing the painting looks really cool. Same thing with Adolescence Leaves by Booktube's one and only Nathan's Nook. Um, yeah, same thing where the cover extends and makes a whole picture. Book as object, this is so cute. And the last back covers I'll highlight are the New Directions Clarice Lispector Quartet, I guess, like the group of four that make a picture of her face on the front, also make a picture on the back, which I did not realize until today. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm missing one, obviously, but we can ignore that. Next is Best Chapter Headings, and I can only think of two that were kind of more interesting. One is The Lathe of Heaven that starts every chapter with this like philosophical quote that has to do with directly like what a lathe of heaven means. Um, thought it was interesting. And then Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy also starts off every chapter in an interesting way where it kind of summarizes what's going to happen, which I don't think I've ever seen before so yeah next category is best spine so gonna show off some manga for that oyasmi pun pun has a really cool like box set where the title descends diagonally and then there's also like a picture of pun pun that's made when they're all together looks pretty cool in a similar vein i'll show off monogatari which uses white space for all the titles like across the series they all have different color palettes I just think that they look really pretty when they're all next to each other. I don't have that many, but it goes on for a long time and would be cool to collect, I guess. And the very last category of book cover is best drawing. For that, I'm going to go with Italo Calvino's The Cloven Viscount and The Non-Existent Knight. Something about this I just really like, even though objectively it's not good. Um, but maybe it's the colors or I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't expect other people to agree, but I vehemently think that this is cute. This is kind of just a placeholder for Penguin Classics in general, where they have like a painting or some like Renaissance thing on the cover. Um, for this example, just Ryunosuke Akutegawa's Rashomon, just a really visually striking painting or drawing in this case, but yeah, cool stuff. And that's that. I had a lot of fun doing this actually, just talking about things that I think are pretty. That's a lot of books that I now have to put back in their place in alphabetical order but uh time to go do that okay i forgot to tag people um monica of dog-eared musings you don't buy that many books but i want to see what's in the collection jadan just got rid of like half of hers so i want to see what's left iggy sean i want to hear him talk about the picture of dorian gray for every category and then cammy I don't know if they do YouTube tag videos on TikTok, but maybe you'll go viral. Comment below what y'all thought of that joke. Um, yeah, if anyone else wants to do this, just do it and say that I tagged you, and I will vouch for you in the comments. Um, yeah, bye.